I mean, this is one of many events that have been held in Gibraltar since we launched our appeal. This is a hugely um, uh, ambitious uh, event. Uh, I mean, these guys are going to be doing something like 200k a day, which sounds easy uh, to say, but uh, you know, you can well imagine how tough that's going to be. You have to take into consideration also that there are we are in the beginning of summer, so there's going to be a lot of heat. They're going to be going over the Pyrenees. So, um, you know, it's a tremendous, tremendous uh, task that they're taking on. And we, from Calpe House point of view, obviously very much appreciate it. I understand that they're very well supported. I don't know the outcome of the final check that they will be presenting to Calpe House, uh, but I know that they have a target of £20,000. Uh, and all I can say that we are extremely extremely grateful uh, to them for taking this huge huge event on um, which means a lot to us to Calpe House but I said I don't want to distract from everything else that's going on on behalf of Calpe House there are many many events uh, that you have seen in the last six or seven months and what's coming up ahead but this is just one of them and a, and a great one at that. It was uh, proposed to, to me, well, as a keen cyclist, uh, why didn't the cycling club or the cyclists in Gibraltar to do something for Calpe House? Uh, at the same time, other members of this team already had thought about doing something for Calpe House. Uh, there are many worthwhile challenges in Gibraltar, particularly with uh, things like cancer, leukemia, child uh, charities, uh, anything. Uh, but this one brings, I think, brings it all together. Uh, Calpe House, for whatever illness or need you have to go to London, which is uh, a huge percentage of people who have to go for treatment, uh, it's one that brings it together, whatever it is that, that, that the person is. And unfortunately, well, at some point in our lives, all of us have either had or I will unlikely will likely have to make use of that. Hopefully not, but, but the reality of life is that. So we thought it's, it's the best charity for us uh, as cyclists to, to come together and, and contribute to that. Particularly now that Calpe House is, is building the new, the new premises and they're in need of, of funds for, from everywhere. So that is why we chose Calpe House. The challenge is that, I mean, most of us as King cyclists are used to doing longer distances, uh, but not continuously one day after another. Uh, the first four or five days, the adrenaline gets you going, it's all new. But then the, the aches and pains start coming in. Uh, whatever niggles, injuries might turn up, uh, and that is the big challenge. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but we're all prepared as well as we can. We've had a good support from physio. Stephen Susi has donated a lot of his time to giving us massages and advice on nutrition and, and recovery and things like that. So we're as prepared as we think we can be.